this plant that a lot of people are let's say con we consider this one as one of the grasses <laughs> but then this is actually a medicinal plant okay it's the pennyworth in english Hi mga garden, so this is Hardinerang Nanay once again. Welcome to our home, our garden. We believe that all plants grow with love. Yes, all plants like grasses. <laughs> so I have this plant that a lot of people are, let's say con we consider this one as one of the grasses. <laughs> but then this is actually a medicinal plant. Okay, it's the pennyworth in English. This one, I got this from a farm. Uh, Sa malinis naman na kanal. So, it's a clean, you know, water. Uh, planted ito. So, para siyang watercress actually. Na it loves water. So, I got it and make it as a house plant. So, if we are going to make this as a house plant, we make sure that um, it will adjust to the soil that you are going to make. Okay. So, I did not transplant it yet until now. So, today, I will transplant it. So, there's a lot more so here and and then i have another ones there another pots of this so diba ang ganda may binibenta itong uh, seeds online pero well uh mag-ingat kayo sa mga scam na peke na mga seeds <laughs> okay well so kung hindi ka pa naka-subscribe sa ating channel like comment and subscribe for more home gardening tips and vlogs from hardinerang nanay so Today, we are going to transplant this one in a soil that uh, will suit the needs of uh, Pennyworth. Alright, so we have here some coco peat. Uh, we are using the coco peat since the Pennyworth or the Gotokola needs or thrives or mabubuhay siya sa moist soil. Alright, parang iba itong nabili kong coco peat today parang may halong black soil pero it's all right so you can use also the pure coco peat okay to help uh, you know maintain the moisture na gusto ni pennyworth and then hinaloan ko na rin siya ng sand medyo coarse itong sand natin pwede naman yung pino and then also we have the cow manure na uh, well composted. Balik tayo dun sa uh, sand, dun sa darat, darat. <laughs> sa buhangin. Why we use buhangin? You know, if you use the, you know, fine um, pino na buhangin, um, it uh, holds water. So, it helps also doon sa uh, gusto ni Pennyworth. And then, you know, Pennyworth, as I was saying a while ago, buhay siya sa kanal. So, <laughs> kanal talaga buhay siya sa water so I, anyway i use the river sand so it is good to use the river sand hindi siya beach sand kasi yung beach sand meron siyang asin so this will work for our uh, gotokola okay amazing yung roots nito uh, tagpi 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 no <laughs> <laughs> dere dere cho uh, see uh, it's connected to each other oh, the body are united mm. yan <laughs> meron silang connection so yan if you want to propagate this one yan putol putulin mo lang yan pag hiwahiwalayin yung mag-iina yung magpapamilya sorry naman <laughs> kailangan kayong ma maparami eh Diba? Malalaki na kayo, humiwalay na kayo sa inyong mga magulang at mabuhay na kayo mag-isa. <laughs> Have your own jobs. <laughs> okay. <laughs> this is very easy uh, plant na uh, gawing house plant. Okay. It's just that kailangan talaga na moist yung soil kasi mamamatay talaga yan. Hindi yan magsusurvive kung dry na yung soil. So, uh, timing ng uh, pag 
dilig nito is that um, ano every other day like that or twice a week so depende kasi sa location mo kung saan mo nilagay itong uh, pennywort kung gawin mo talaga siyang indoor oh well di gawin mong indoor pero wag naman sa low light lagi kong sinasabi na wag laging ilagay yung or ilagay yung most of the plants na sa low light kasi maraming namamatay sa low light unless yung mga sansevarias mga spider plant na yung si fire flash yan gusto gusto nila ng low light yan pero ito uh, i suggest na doon siya sa filtered light okay. or kaya bright shade area okay so ayan mm, ano pa ba ang gustong gusto nito basta importante yung soil is very uh, rich in you know organic matter mabubuhay yan Okay, so, uh, yun lang. Basta kung gagamit tayo ng mga composted manure, make sure na ano siya, uh, well composted. ba? Diba? Kasi ito, edible ito eh. Kinakain ito eh. Ginagawang salad ito eh. So, kailangan yung soil mo malinis. Malinis na yung soil pag gumagamit ka ng cow manure or vermicast na well composted. Okay? Patay na yung bakteriya eh, di ba? Patay na, patay na yung E. coli eh, di ba? So, yan. Yan lang naman ang tips ni Hardinerang nanay pagdating dito sa plant nito. Napakasimpleng plant pero ang dami pala nitong benefits na to. Ito, inapa, inaapakan lang dun sa, um, you know, there's the area we're in. Yung rice field, minsan ito, tumutubo ito pag muddy areas na rice field <laughs> swamp areas tumutubo ito so gustong gusto nila talaga yun di ba actually pwede ito sa terrariums they love it they love to grow there it's so cute ang ganda gustong gusto ko yung shape ng ano ng leaves niya alam nyo ba muntik na ako mag-order ng seeds nito na galing ng China <laughs> buti na lang pandemic at saka ano Ah, uh, yun easy like those lock, like like lockdown. So, hindi umabot. <laughs> I mean, hindi natuloy kasi may mga restrictions. Buti na lang hindi natuloy yung order ko na yun. Nandun lang pala <laughs> doon sa farm nila, tita. So, ito na nga siya, 'di ba? So, mag-ingat tayo sa mga seeds online, maraming mga peke, pero man hindi peke. Just check the reviews, okay? Kasi karamihan dito talaga iba yung tumutubo. So, you have to check the reviews talaga. We are going to try to taste this one. I washed this already. And then it is edible, right? So, see. Okay. Masarap. Masarap nga pang halo sa salad. Okay. <laughs> so, so what are the health benefits of Gotokala? Number one, improves wound healing, keeps your skin beautiful, relieves stomach aches, provides relief from anxiety and stress, prevents Alzheimer's disease and dementia. Why you should eat goto cola salad? Mm. Bakit nga ba? What is the secret of this goto cola salad that we should eat this one? <laughs> it says here, goto cola salad, easy to make, it slows down your age because it has uh, collagen properties. That is why they are claiming that you know, it's good for the skin and it slows down your age. 
potential side effects and risks. Goto cola is generally well tolerated. In some cases, it can cause headache, upset stomach, and dizziness. Starting with a low dose and gradually working up to a full dose can help reduce your risk of side effects. You should only take Goto cola for two to six weeks at a time. Be sure to take a two-week break before resuming use. Take note of that. Talk to your doctor before use if you have liver disease, if you have diabetes, if you have high cholesterol, if you are taking medications such as sedatives for sleep or anxiety, and if you are taking diuretics. Well, that's it mga garden, another plant we have uh, transplanted today. And uh, you know what? See you in the next video. Do like, comment, and subscribe of course. And click the notification bell for more home gardening tips and vlogs from Hardinerang Nanay or HNTV Baguio. Thank you for watching. Tiinog kabasan mo and God bless us all.